My default is to always do like perfectly uniform, consistent curls for my hair, but I wanted to push myself a little bit this time and do some undone casual waves. You can do just bends in the hair like this with a flat iron or a curling iron. I used a curling iron today. All of the products and tools that I'm gonna be using um, are at Sephora. This video was sponsored by Sephora. If you wanna see how to get this look, I'm starting with wet hair. Um, so I'm going from the beginning all the way to this finish line, and if you wanna see how to get this look, just keep on watching. So beginning with wet hair, the first step I'm gonna take is putting the Living Proof Restore Dry Scalp Treatment on. Um, I got this at Sephora. This relieves dryness, itching, and irritation. You put it on right after you wash your hair, and then you don't need to rinse it out. You just blow dry like usual. So it comes in this little tube, and you'll just section your hair off into a few partings um, in the front and the back. Massage it into your scalp, and it doesn't affect your hair at all. It doesn't make your hair look greasy or anything like that. It's simply, uh, it's kind of like cream for your scalp if you have a dry scalp, which I always do, but it especially gets bad in the winter. So the next part of prep is just coming through to make sure all the tangles are out. This is a wide tooth comb, um, also from Sephora. If you don't have one of these, get one of these. It's, it's not good to rake through wet hair with a fine tooth comb or oftentimes even a brush can be a little harsh on it. So a wide tooth comb like this will separate the hair and not snag it or pull it too much. You could even use a comb like this in the shower when you've applied a deep conditioner or just your regular conditioner just to comb it through to make sure all of that product gets on all of your hair. So the product I'm putting on my ends is by Alterna. It's their Caviar Anti-Aging Line. It is the Restructuring Bond Repair 3-in-1 Sealing Serum. I just do a pump in my palm, rub it through my hands, and then rub it through my hair. I like to start on the areas of my hair that need it the most, which for me is the front and then kind of the top layer of my hair. And when you're putting a serum on, don't forget to kind of section off your hair just like you did if you were doing the scalp treatment and get that serum also on the under parts of your hair. A lot of times the top layer of our hair gets all the product because that's the easiest to grab, but you can section off, use a clip or just hold it out of the way and make sure that product gets even on the middle or bottom part of your hair as well. The product I'm using for volume is the Bumble and Bumble Great Body Blow Dry Cream. Um, it inflates blow dries to sexy new heights. Um, this is a cream, not a foam or a mousse. I put it in the palm of my hand, rub it together, and then just like you saw me do with that Alterna product, I'm putting it on everything and that means kind of lifting some of my hair and getting it under there so all of my hair can be volumized. So my hair is all prepped now to be blown dry and then we will use the curling iron to put these really soft bends in it. So now that my hair is dry, I've got my GHD curling iron on. Um, I also have a couple duckbill clips here in case I want to section off, but with these undone bends in the hair, you really don't want to overthink it. You don't want it to look perfect. The goal is for it to look really casual and undone. Um, so if you have a lot of layering in your hair, these duckbill clips may help if you just want to at least divide it in half. If your hair's thick, you may want to divide off like a halo, like pretend you were drawing a halo around the crown of your head and section that off and do that section last so you kind of get the main part of your hair first. For me, I would say I have medium thickness hair, uh, so I'm going to go ahead and kind of section off a top layer to do last, but this entire layer will be done first. So when you're creating these waves, you want to sort of move quickly, don't hang out for too long on the section, and you just want to rotate your wrist so you're bending the iron as you work your way down. So the first placement, I'm going to do a bend like that, then I'm going to let go, flip the curling iron around and put it right where I dropped off, bend this way, and then do one final bend. Leaving the end straight, but you can see I'm getting a wave pattern in there. It's not like something a curling iron would leave, but the ends are still straight. So all you're doing is that repetitive motion around your hair. If you wanna change it up a little bit, you can hold the section straight out from your head and do that same technique, but hold the curling iron up instead of horizontal. So this section, I was working my way down like that. For this section, I'll bend it this way, 
let go. My left hand that's holding the hair isn't moving. I'm just putting the iron in at a different place. And then repeating that again. So once that cools and you rake through it, this part won't want to blend in perfectly with the part you did right behind it. Another tip to avoid creasing is to put your curling iron in right on top of the crease when you move on to the next step. So if you have one down here, just put the heat right on top of it and that'll help smooth it out as well. So once you're done with all your waves, you can grab a texturizing spray. I love this one by Amika. And just spray through kind of the middle and the ends. Use your fingers to sort of piece it out. But the goal here is that it not look perfect. So don't overthink it. Don't try and fix it to where all of the waves are perfect. They're not supposed to be. It's supposed to just look like undone, natural bends in the hair. So finish with a bit of hairspray, but not too much, and you want to use a flexible hold hairspray as well so the hair will still move and bend. The whole concept here is a very casual, undone wave. So all of the products and tools that I used for this look are from Sephora. This video was sponsored by Sephora. If you enjoyed it, you can find other hair tutorials and makeup tutorials on my YouTube channel. Once you head over there, hit that subscribe button so you'll be notified of any new videos that I post. And if you're watching this on the blog, you can also subscribe on YouTube, but uh, all of the products and tools I use will be listed right below the video on the blog post. So if you're interested in any of these, you can refer to the blog post for those things.